Hey guys, a little different video for you today. Um, you can see I've got the SSH um, iPod open here. And, oops, bring that back. Um, so what I'm going to show you is, if you're having problems with Cydia saying a source isn't, I bring it over here, is error refreshing data. If you're having problems like this, saying it's a GPG error, or whatever, it really um, it really gets annoying. You can see I I think in the sinful iPhone repo I forgot a little dot there and Cydia for some reason accepted it. I think I was having a problem with it. So it accepted it and then it realized, oh no, that's not actually anything. And so when it tries to refresh is that when it tries to refresh that, it can't do anything because there's nothing there. So if you're having that problem like that, I'm gonna show you how to fix that and some of the stuff will go away go away along with them. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna want to find your sources or find the ones that you know are having problems so for me it's club iphone and sinful repo sinful why that's the same whole deal so now if we go into our if we ssh into our device here we're gonna be able to see that um... we have all we have the we have this whole setup here so now what we're gonna want to go into is etc apt here and then sources dot list dot d now you're gonna see a few um lists here the only one that you're gonna actually want to edit is the Cydia dot list here that's the one that you need to edit the bit if you like delete these if these are the ones you're having problems with you know then it's not it's not gonna work so you're just gonna want to edit this one so you just want to download that to your desktop or whatever and then you're gonna wanna pull it up here so here's mine here and you can see I've got all these sources here. Now I'm not just gonna want to. I'm not gonna want to like add something to make it um, different here. I'm just gonna want to delete it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the line that's causing the problem. So here's the club iPhone one, and you can delete it. And then backspace and make it look all normal here. Just delete the line. So with a sinful iPhone repo, delete. And then if there's any other problems here, if we can check if there's any other problems. We should be good to go. The repo dot that one shouldn't matter, and that one's the same deal. And so now, if we'll, I'll reboot the. So then we'll save that. So I'll save this, and then I'll you bring it back over here, and then I'll reboot my reboot my iPod, and then I'll show you guys what it does. And then once we've rebooted our iDevices, we'll load them up here and see what it does. And um, I just wanted to give like a little preview here. Um, there's a thing that's going to be coming out called Spring Rotator, I believe. I'll have a link of that in the description or maybe a little annotation, something along those lines. And what it's going to enable you to do is to, when you rotate your iDevice, iPhone or iPod, it'll rotate the whole springboard and it will be really really cool you know if you've seen the iPad things I think that it does that too makes it cool but let's see here if this works I've done this before because every time I add a source for some reason it decides it's going to um, refresh on those memories I guess it's like in, like pound into the device and so if, if we reload the data here um, it looks like it doesn't have any errors because it doesn't have any error refreshing things so that's always good so if you guys are solving problems with this um, just contact me I'll see what I can do from the information given it's kinda tough because you can't actually see anything actually going on but you know I'll do my best but back to the spring rotator thing while well, this kinda loads up here um, it's gonna enable you to, to ro totally rotate your springboard like the iPad does and it'll probably happen in a later update to the iPhone OS uh, OS, I guess, uh, software. But so that'll be pretty cool, and that's coming out in a few days, I think. I'll have a video on that um, once that comes out too. So that's always good. That's something you guys can look forward to because that's uh, definitely what I am. And so if you don't see any two videos, I'm gearing up for that video, and it's really not much going on right now. That's the next big thing in the Cydia thing, I think, right now. So thanks for watching. That's how you fix your city of sources, city of refreshing things. And subscribe like always. And there we go. City is fully loaded. It looks good. Go into changes here and it's all